Oh, shit. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Community Service Podcast. Today I have on rappers. Hell yeah, this shit's awesome. I have the homie Jaron Benton on and Demrick. Check them out on tour, Dope Ass Mofos. They're doing I Didn't Cuss on the intro. That's pretty good. We're learning. God is good. <laughs> and uh, I'm on tour. We got St. Louis, um, Everett, Washington. I forgot the rest. Here we go. Got it. I got it. I'm a professional. Davenport, Iowa, Rochester, New York, Denver, Colorado, December 7th. Link coming soon at the Denver Improv, Philadelphia, December 13th, Washington, D.C. Finishing the year out in Springfield, Massachusetts, December 29th, 30th, and 31st. And uh, come check me out on tour. Come check these gentlemen out on tour. They're f***ing <laughs> savages. Oh, I cussed on the intro. Bleep it. And they're, uh, yeah, one owns a weed company. They're hustlers. They're getting it. I love it. They tour. They tour more than me. That's crazy. That's a lot of touring. And then much love to these gentlemen for doing my shit. My first rappers on, and we reveal some stuff. I tell you what, I don't know what happened. <laughs> what had happened was, you'll find out. Tune in right now because this is revealing. And uh, God bless you all. Tune in. But two bedroom, one bath with the garage, ocean view, bro. Come on now. It's amazing. It's crazy. That view is crazy. If this old junkie can do it, anybody could do yeah. it. That's my message. Are we rolling? Yeah. Just... Are right, we rolling? We just get right into it. You ready to fucking do uh, ayahuasca and talk to God, homies? Hey, I just uh, got back. You just <laughs> got back from ayahuasca? Yeah, I did it yesterday. No, Whoa. The, uh, Friday, Saturday. What day is the day? It's all a Sunday. blur now. He's like, shit, what is it? Day Sunday? Monday. Sunday. It's Monday. How was it? Oh, it's, it's Monday. Monday. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, right. It's Monday. Dude. How was that? It's consciousness in the shot. That's what I was telling. Listen, it's I'm, I'm going to cut you off. Remember your mouth? Remember who was that? We was talking. It was Naveed. Yeah. Remember he was like, "Yeah, man, someone just do ayahuasca and just end up sucking somebody's dick." I was like, "Bro, I don't even no, do that." He's gay. I was like, you don't. You don't. <laughs> that remember, remember? I was like, I remember? I was like, "Bro, ayahuasca." I, I said, "Ayahuasca yeah. does not do that, bro." Bro, you're just gay. He's, <laughs> tell, tell him, nobody. Yeah, that's funny. From I mean, that's I hear, fine. <laughs> do you, bro? But don't blame it on ayahuasca. Did you, did you hear that? You heard him? Yeah. You remember the debate? I was like, "Bro, there's no way your death's gonna happen." Like, and man. if that's your fear, you, you're probably yeah. gay. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I ain't doing. I uh, I don't need hot dogs. That's I might suck dick. Suck dick. Like, yeah. That's not how it works, bro. <laughs> Break your trip down, man. <laughs> Who was that? Was that rapper? Are you not uh, supposed to name him? No, no, no. no, 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 no. There was oh, somebody yeah, yeah. talking about Anonymous. somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, that is so funny. I got rappers on today. I made it. What yeah, side? Yeah. Hey, so I got so many questions about the ayahuasca thing. So did you, you know, usually it's the shaman in the in the oh, yep. cave and all the shit. Did you, is that how you did it? Or did uh, you just do it here? Yes and no. This is kind of a, uh, uh, well, they think, oh, I forget everything, dog. It's more like a practical uh, boot camp ayahuasca experience that's more, available for people not everybody could fly to peru and drop three yeah. to five grand and be gone for a week or two this is not traditional but it is practical it's like two days not too far like an hour outside of la in the boonies and it's more uh uh like not a quick fix but you know what i'm trying to say yeah like more more like my mom can do it or whatever she'll yeah, never so will but i'm just saying like are you dead what is shaman Oh, yeah, this fool has been sitting with the medicine 23 years, bro. Yeah. You yeah. ever meet a motherfucker, you're like, damn, I want what you got. Yeah. He's got the inner peace. He's got yeah. the glow, you the show yeah. enough, and you could fucking sniff. It's just there. I would never do s such a powerful thing if, if there wasn't a guy there. Oh, you no. know what I'm saying? So oh, the, yeah. the whole shit about the, the homies and the shit in the and the just hit it real quick and we mm. go there or like whatever with the DMT or whatever. Like I'm not getting into that world without somebody that is very versed in that and could No. I need somebody that, that yeah. knows how to do I gotta feel comfortable to get be able to take you that need chance. A, you need a yeah. spirit you, you need a spiritual John Wick that's like fuck out. There we go. Did yeah. you feel like it did, 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 did it fuck change you devil crack crack? Yeah. <laughs> did you did you come back from that shit? Like did you come back like every it's, it always seemed like it's a life changing thing. 
Yeah, well, okay, that's the, uh, a lot of people think that's what I thought. I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to be all healed. I'm going to get it all out. And it's like riding a wave of consciousness. And, and you may not even necessarily go that deep your first time. Yeah. You get better at it. That's why I keep going. I've done it 12 times this That's year, bro. Damn, you done 12. <laughs> there ain't even 12. 12. We ain't did 12 months yet. My boy done did it 12 times. My boy done did it 12 times in nine shit. months. I'm you a, might have a problem. I'm addicted. <laughs> Yo. That's what everyone makes fun of me. That's, That's the joke. Bro. I was like, yeah, I'm addicted to healing. Because um, that's all it Damn. is. It's no thing. Papa didn't raise did you, no did you, bitch. You didn't, you didn't, <laughs> did you, you didn't throw up and shit strong. yourself, did you? No, that's yeah. Oh yeah, but no, you you know, no, no, no. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're in control. There's many misconceptions. You don't shit your pants, but okay. you do purge like a motherfucker. You're in control, and uh, like the shaman explains everything, and the and the 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 meticulous care they take of the room and the shit and they clean it. You know, it's very indigenous. They got all this shit. The tribal drums, the flute. And believe me, I'm a comedian. The first time there, I'm making fun of all these fools. Now I'm like, hey, let me get the link to that flute, bro. You know? <laughs> I'm going to like, be a flute guy. Watch. And not no metal shit. I'm Maybe that's the, what happened to Andre 3000. Yeah. Maybe no, he's sure. running around he with that flute. Ayahuasca, <laughs> now he fucking walking around with the flute. <laughs> no, I know someone that sat with him. They got him do Oh, ayahuasca. he did? He oh, did? yeah. Okay. Shout, oh, out to, bro. shout out to Three Stacks. Man. Legend. 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 And, uh... Yeah, dude. Wait, wait. Where we going? More questions. I was trying to. I get ADHD and kind. Bro, um, I just. I'm oh, curious. you don't poop your pants, bro. You're okay. in control. Did you throw up? Oh yeah. Okay. You purge. It's called. I called it. It's funny because once again, I made fun of these fools. They call it purging. I'm like yeah. purge. You mean puke, bro? And then you do it, and you're like, oh no, that's purging. Okay. Fucking biblical shit like locusts, snakes. The homie uh, Gareth Reynolds threw up a black salmon. <laughs> like fucking when you're. When you're in the spirit world, you're puking like Linda Blair exorcist shit, getting rid of demons, addictions, yeah. sugar. So what's, the, I wanna, so so what's the wildest thing you puked up then? What did you see? What t- fucking t- snakes, be real. dude? Snakes? Sna- you feel it? You f- like this girl sang in the corner. She sang "I Am Light," and she had the voice of an angel. It's also crazy. The music in the room. These motherfuckers are masters at music, and they're just playing intricate shit. And she had a powerful voice like an Adele. And then she sang that shit. And when as soon as it was done, keep in mind there's music 99.9% of the time. 99% of the time, as soon as it was quiet, I went, bah! and just Linda blared it and purged. They give you like a bucket or something? Oh, yeah. Okay. Everybody has buckets. Mad buckets. There's mad guardians. Let's say there's like 30 people in the room. 10 of them are guardians. Like, you're, it, yeah. it's... Yeah, it, that's, like you said. I'm you, selfish. Like, I, I honestly would want to do it like where I'm the... I'm the only person doing it, and everybody mm. there is just to take care of It's actually more powerful in a small group because you get hive mind. Yeah. And so you, you do have you to get be in hive, the group. Like, you get, like... You get really connected. Like, hi, you fall, fall. You're like, hey, what's up? <laughs> in your head, in the corner. I'm not supposed to say names. Was it, scar- was it scary? Um. Yes and no. It's scary in the sense that you face your evil or your darkness, and it can be bad. You learn awful shit that happened to you as a kid that you didn't even know happened really? it's in your subconscious and yeah. you block it out because of trauma but then it's like freeing it's liberating it's hard to understand you're is like is there anything personal you feel comfortable with sharing that you i guess we'll just get into it yeah yeah, yeah. i was molested for sure bro oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Wow. Not 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 damn in a bad right. way, but damn. We went we're zero sorry, to a hundred. Damn, he we're said, sorry. I wasn't gonna do it. Oh, shit. I was okay. blaming my daddy for abuse. I was like, did this fool throw me against the wall? And it, what what I'm getting at is, I blamed him, and now I feel guilty. It was not him. He was just a crazy alcoholic from Boston, German English motherfucker. You yeah. know, he doesn't like laws. He does. He likes. He, he's he's a bookie. Anyways. Uh, I blamed him because I thought I was my like his abuse is like ten percent of my shit. It was like over here, another source. It, it went dark. Yeah, and it yeah. went dark, and I, I was just like, oh no, oh no, you know, because you're, <laughs> you're you're learning this shit. Are, are, are you? Is that really happening though? What I'm saying is that are oh, you yeah. imagining is that a real it or is it oh, real? No, you ain't imagining shit, bro. This is a true syrup. This is because yeah. what it is now that they're legalizing it, they're studying it. It, it refires. Uh, uh, synapses in your brain your subconscious like like let's say you go to war you're iraq war veteran and you did some shit you block that shit out and you don't even know what happened over there but it's in here and so when you do this shit 
it refires those things and brings up those old memories that you blocked out yeah. when you were a kid or at war or or a victim of a crime, you know? Yeah. And then you relive it, but not like that. It's like a liberating reliving. It's weird to say that I faced atrocities and I was like, damn, I feel better, you know? Yeah. Because you puke it out. Yeah. Or yeah, shit just, it out it, or cry it out or yeah. laugh it out. Or yawn it out like it's purgings in many many forms. Yeah. This one fool is giggling in the corner. Did bro, you know? <laughs> did you know like when that when that fucking revelation of you being molested? Did you know? Did no, you... I had no clue, bro. I blamed my dad. I thought it was violence. Did you? Did you? Did it reveal it, a person by the way, that did my, it? My dad's innocent of all things. I, I don't yeah. speak so well. Just be clear. It was over there. Different. He was just an alky and a, oh, shut the fuck up, you know, <laughs> <laughs> which does fuck you up too, but not like that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you? But I'm saying, did you have a? Did you have a? Did it reveal who it, the person was who was doing it? Uh, yeah. I don't really yeah, want to name it. My cause. Yeah, no, no, no. We go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's some deep. Yeah. That's deep, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. that, that shit is. That's kind of. Man, that's deep. Yeah, you I know, just met y'all too. Yeah, and I'm just like. <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell hey, you nice some crazy. I was molested. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I had this. I used to have these dreams, man. I used to have these dreams when I was a kid of, of being kidnapped, and I used to always have these uh, fucking dreams of me being kidnapped, or uh, trying to be kidnapped, and someone. And I remember my mom. It probably happened. Hit it. Yeah, she fucking. I. So when I was older, I confronted her. I said, "Yo, did I? Was somebody trying to kidnap me or some shit?" And she told me the story. And What's that, that story? That's I never hold on. JD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they I, try to grab so, you at the mall or what? I honestly think my um, statue limitation. I think my aunt ran over him. A uh, nice. Yeah. Get that motherfucker. Whoa. So I don't know if That's I want to go to the right That there. might be it. I just remember they kept trying to snatch me. We was at my, I remember being a little kid and they were trying to snatch me out the fucking. Uh, Car. It was the 80s. Was, kidnapping was yeah. popular back then. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they was kept trying to snatch no, human me trafficking is still it's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's, probably, it's yeah. Go governmental. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I remember my mom trying to fight back. It was like this old yeah. white lady and this older white man. And they was trying to fight back and lock the doors, and the doors went locked. And I would have these dreams yeah. up until I was like probably like 13, bro. And that's why you drink too much. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. He's a therapist too, yeah. So I don't know if I want to go down the ayahuasca road. Shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Come, hey. Come fight the devil with me. Come on. I know I, you're I real. I kind of want to do it. I, I'm with it. I yeah, want to yeah, do yeah. it. I want to do it. You know, I do it. Fuck there's, it. There's only savages where you're like, hey, you want to go fucking puke some snakes and fight the devil? And I, I think you two are savages. You're I like, still want to go. I, I, but I think the first step for me is like going out into like a nature and and doing shrooms and winning that battle over shrooms yeah because shrooms shrooms is very good too shrooms i this lost like, the battle this is early on day. to it it's it's a it's, you're saying it's different it, yeah no it's, no it's, 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 it's completely on. different but they're of the same i'll say they're in the same galaxy but they're different planets all right so can you can you elaborate on that a little bit for me it ayahuasca everyone always wants explanation but you if you just drink this little God's juice, consciousness, truth syrup, whatever you may call it, and you astral project to different realms, and you're in the spirit realms. I've said this before, but it's like the veil of the universe is revealed. Yeah. And then you start asking it questions. One of the reasons I keep doing it so much is it's like riding a wave. And in the beginning, you go this far, and then you go this far, and then you go this, you know, you you get better at it. Yeah. yeah. Because not everybody connects your first time. If your brain is too strong, you got to go with your heart. If you think too much, because you get a shot on a scale of one to ten of milliliters or whatever the measurement is, and some fools will take tens and be like, "I don't feel it." And the shaman is will, that from doing it a bunch? No, that's because their brain won't shut the fuck up. Um, yeah. you, you, if you try to control it, it doesn't work, and it yeah. sounds so. You just gotta let go and let it. Let go, let God, I agree and then with it, that. and then you and you fucking blast off, and uh, and it's also like these. I know how it sounds. To anyone who hasn't done it, but anyone who has done it. They're like, oh yeah, it's true. Yeah. But then you know the the nerd we like that wants to be logical and understand it completely. It's like it doesn't make sense. So why are you trying? Like, you shouldn't take a shot and astral project. You know what I mean? But you <laughs> fucking do. You do. Okay. So stop. It's just like let go of that shit and just yeah. go. Is it a certain that you you go on an empty stomach? It's best. Yeah. You, okay. You're supposed to be clean. You can't eat pork. You'll it. It it's a it's a no detoxifier, you, and it'll you'll just purge like a motherfucker. 
um yeah you're supposed to eat clean you know fruits veggie veggie i can't talk veggies i'm still high on it no. you still you still you still <laughs> it actually got is buzz? It's, it's in you for about a week but yeah. you're not astral projecting yeah, 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 it's but just, just like it's in you shit's like, just uh, really cool to the, to yeah, the, yeah, to yeah, the, yeah. god is good to the viewers <laughs> at home if you see me pouring up this glass uh it's not a dirty he didn't give me a dirty glasses no 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 alka no no it. no I'm fighting the hangover. That was the old Craig. I put promethazine <laughs> in the punch, and my buddy get all tweaked out. And I'm nice. like, oh, my bad. Why you haven't seen <laughs> I'm just kidding. These are jokes. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we went hard real yeah, fast. We, yeah, we, yeah. I didn't even intro we y'all. Just I, like, I was molested. We just dropped into the deep end. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> These are my hip-hop friends. It's Jared Bitten and Demrick. Yeah. Brr- yeah, and I met you through Aaron. Aaron, shout out to Aaron. Aaron, he's, I he's love out you. in Texas now. Um, yeah. trying to do the uh, the art thing, right? No, comedy. Okay. No, nah, no, nah, not Aaron Cohen. I met Aaron through Aaron Cohen. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know this Aaron's. other. I don't know this other Aaron. I just remember doing your pod, nah, you didn't. and you didn't asked me if I was strapped, and I pulled it out live on the pod, and then you pulled yours out, and I was like, I love that, man. Strap buddies. That's <laughs> Hell <a balls>. <laughs> Pause. Yeah. That's a major yeah. pod. Well, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Pause. <laughs> he goes like this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funsies. You listen, were you out? Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't want to get you in trouble. But in California, we was talking about that. Gun laws here. Can you? You going to? No, I mean, you can, but you will, if you get caught, you'll go to jail. You're allowed to have them, but we don't have full mag- magazine capacities, but See, they're fighting that. Crazy fucking laws. Yeah. Well, the whole thing is, is like, there, you can go, because I got a couple of homies who took the extra steps to get the uh, concealed carry. Uh-huh. You know, and it's a, it's a little, you got to do the interview, and there's some stuff that you got to go through, but it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's a little more. I don't know. Do you have a concealed? Carry? Oh no, no. You yeah. Just, so like, you gotta take those extra steps. It takes to a do lot it. of extra work. Yeah. Can, exactly. It's easier if you're in like a Republican county. Like you could just go to Orange County and probably get it pretty easy. Yeah. yeah. And then in like the Hollywood area, not so much. You know. Exactly. They're gonna at LA County for sure. They're gonna put. You gotta actually have an interview with the sheriff, sheriff department oh, they got y'all. shit you wow. gotta yeah. tell them shit. why you need it and uh oh, you gotta give an explanation of why you need yes it. exactly for sure wow. why have and it's problems. gotta be everything <laughs> i want to kill my wife <laughs> shit. i got this kidnapping i'm mad about <laughs> you know? it's kind of fucked up out here though because this is my perspective on it is like there's so much you know there's such a big gap between the have and the have nots out here that it's like um it's unfortunate to give guns to the have nots because they'll take advantage of the people that have. And it's unfortunate for the people that have to not be able to protect themselves against the have nots. I completely well agree. Because yeah. the well have nots don't apply for the permit. <laughs> yeah. They just riding around with it. But you're riding around with it to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. But then if you get caught, you, you're going to go to jail. You go, And then once you get in that system, the L.A. uh jail system is so fucked up that it's a bad place to be you never want to have to experience that just for trying to protect yourself against people that are coming at you you know what i'm saying so that's why i think it's kind of ah you know it's it's i don't this is i don't like violence but i like Peaceful warriors with pistols. There we go. That's a great way of putting it. That's, That's what I like. I'm a peaceful fucking warrior. But I got a good uh, L.A. County story. It's not mine. It's my uncle's. But this fool got locked up for some PCP or something when we were getting him out. And my, I don't know which charge this was, but it, it's relevant. But he's a comedian. Everybody's a comedian. This is my act, but it's a true story. And he, uh, he, when he was getting processed into L.A. County, they asked him, are you suicidal? And he said, in here, aren't we all? Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. But the guard didn't laugh, and he put him in the loony bin, the mental asylum, oh, up, the, up the, at the top of the towers. And then he said it, the, the celly uh, next to him took a shit and grabbed his turd and ate it. And oh, he, And he was, he was like, shit, oh, hell literally. no. He was like, I'm going to go with the murders. Get me out of here, bro. This yeah. guy <laughs> fucking got caca yeah, teeth that's over here. Crazy. There ain't no So my man no took cool a shit. No, yeah. And he's just like, oh, shit. Ain't no safe place behind did he, them walls, Did, did he man. shit in the toilet and grab it? Or this guy just shit hey, in I, his he, hand? I, and I believe he shit in the toilet, turd. grabbed the turd, and took a bite. And wow. my uncle was like, oh, fuck this. And then we picked him up. And he's telling me and my other little cousin, 
and uh, and my m- mom and my aunt and, uh, and we we're like Johnny, I'm, I'm nine, bro. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, want to know about twelve. Or you ever have um, you ever have Uncle Johnny on here? No, I would love to have him. Get I love Johnny that fool. Here, man. No, he's a, he's a, one of my I, I, favorite I'm, uncles. I'm, I shouldn't be intrigued, but I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> I want to ask that guy, like, what does shit taste like? He ate shit. Yeah, well, that was he a didn't cellmate. Eat it. He his didn't cellmate. Eat it. No, 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 not Johnny. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying I want to ask. I'm curious about the guy. I want to ask. Him hey, too. Johnny, how does breath smell? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, he was. He is for sure my favorite uncle. Uh, because we got we're we're cut of the same cloth. He uh. He liked the party in the 80s and stuff. Because I'm Mexican. He's Mexican, but he went Mexican punk rocker. He went to, like, the Melvins and, you know. Yeah. And then the other side, we got a lot of gangsters in my family. I just went to the beach and did drugs. I don't roll like that. So you, you, you're, it, the, you're, the, yeah, you're yeah. the safe guy in the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm the safe guy. You're the one the that's not going to come in the house and steal. No, no, no. Okay. Unless it's I mean, narcotics might, unless and I was a drug drugs. addict. <laughs> I used to do that. Did you uh? Did you go to... Re- you, you was... I went to bootleg rehab. Yeah. I just got myself sober off narcotics with cases of wine and ounces of weed because I was addicted to Oxycontin and cocaine. Wow. What a combination. Ooh, weed. Hell of a combo. That's and, a uh, crazy combo. It's, what you goes going? up must come yeah. down, yeah, bro. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. That's God's law right there. No, that's bad. Don't do drugs, kids. Save your life. That's why I'm missing this tooth right here. Do you, uh, how, so you, how, so how did the fuck you got yourself off of it? That was I. I played the game with like, oh, I could do a little here and there, like for like three years afterwards. Yeah, I can't have a drop, bro. I can't have one drop of alcohol. Yeah, it took me three years after quitting narcotics. Can you be around alcohol? Yeah, I don't love it, but yeah, I'm a comic, so I hang out oh, at the clubs. True. But yeah. after midnight, the shit changes, and I go, I gotta go. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I don't mind anybody that has a drink, but when it gets sloppy, that's when I'm like, yeah, I, I can't do it. Like, I'll go to birthday parties at the bar, but I'll last 30 minutes, you know? Yeah, you out. It's just not, I can't, because I, yeah, it's just dark shit for me, and on most, to be honest. Hey, man, and to be on and, and, you know, salute to you, you know, to be able to overcome things like that, to understand, to put boundaries uh, in front of what you will and you won't do, you know, that's not easy to do in oh, life. So God, the fact that you're, do, that you're doing that <laughs> and that you dr- drew that line in the sand or Thank whatever you. you want to call it and that's where you standing at it you know tip the hat to you for Thank being you, able to G. do that bro Much straight up we'll drink this alcohol yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah here we go I think I'm Chris go get me a beer too. <laughs> 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 me too <laughs> no yeah it's just once you learn you can't have one yeah you know but now I'm addicted to weed and cooking. Well, you did ayahuasca whatever. fucking 12 times in the yeah. last fucking eight months. Hey, I don't count that. There's something to be said. You know, what are you, you talking know? about? Pretty soon you might be a shaman yourself. You'd be like, oh, no, this started at a podcast. Now I got a facility. It's about an hour outside of L.A. I think and I will. And I can take care of you. Come on That's down, it, bro. Man. You know, you might be able to guide people like us through it uh, at times because I think that a lot of people... There's so much knowledge out there about mentally awakening yourself about what else is out there than what they show us, the way we're living. You know, there's a lot of information out there. So I feel like the intrigue is higher up more now than ever. Uh, people that want to see what else is out there. What what other ways we could open, unlock this? Because they say you use, what, 8% of your brain, 10% or yeah. whatever the percentage. Like, I think... I heard that's kind of some weird shit too like, i don't know you do use 100 percent of your brain you only use, i'm not sure i'm just i yeah. saw that you tiktok saw, viral clip i, I, I remember I heard that, like, all right so what is it i heard, I heard how uh, much of this brain <laughs> I on, on, which, it was some podcast i was watching it might have been joe rogan yeah he what? had some good that that grant cardone and and something brecca those fools talk about it i think there's mad information on this shit. I hate talking about it because I watch it. And I'm like, oh, I want to share it. And then I'm like, oh, no, I don't. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. remember the intricate details, but I remember hearing truth. Yeah. That's how I do is when I hear these fools talking about alternative shit that goes against the mainstream mainstream and fuck them because they ain't trying to do nothing but get you on pills. Yeah, get you hooked on or, shit. Yeah. And just also the way that could like with as much knowledge as out there, 2023, of the world we live in today to not think that there are people out there that are attempting to control the narrative to think yeah. that that doesn't exist 
if you don't believe that there are energy and that there are people trying to control the way that you live your life like you are living uh no offense a naive oh, mentality nefarious motherfuckers you out know there what i, mean? I checked out when i was 15 i was yeah. like fuck y'all yeah <laughs> i had a quarter of mushrooms on an empty stomach and i was like i ain't trust the government ever since yeah or just <laughs> Just the I mean, way you can just do. It. You can just look at the shit through just history in general. Yeah, oh, yeah especially yeah. in African. You know, I ain't. And, come on, it, 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 it's all that. I don't want to get too fucking. No, it's all there. It's like I, I get in arguments shit. with motherfuckers. I'm like, they've been trying to control the world since the beginning of time. Why is this different right now? Facts. Now there's yeah. PR and and cameras. It's kind of easier now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah manipulation at all time high. Oh, yeah. 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 Not on ayahuasca. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying more people are intrigued to go and firm. experience that than ever. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, that shit's crazy, bro. I can't. I love sharing it, though. You going 13 times? Oh, hell yeah. I'm back in December, bro. <laughs> We're trying to figure out <laughs> how many times does this man do ayahuasca in one year? We're going to see him next year. He's be like, I did it 24 <laughs> times. Damn it. Twice a month. I'm living there. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking awesome, bro. And once you experience it, You'll be like, oh, shit checks out. Because yeah, yeah. it, it's, it's, uh, I know to anybody who hasn't done it and done it a lot, they're, they're gonna, you know, Craig's a quack. He finally did too much. And, uh, they're probably right. But <laughs> I'm also right too, if that makes sense. You Listen, know? do you, um, how bad, like, okay, when it's intense, how long is the intensity of it lasting? Oh dear! Uh, <laughs> is it is it ups and downs? It lasts about six to eight hours, and sometimes Gosh, that feels like a, right you know three days a week. Whoa! <laughs> it feels like three fucking days. Uh, no, Jesus! No, oh, tell man. the truth, man. We just need to. We you, all you we have to the truth. No. Yeah. He talking to me. <laughs> hey, no, come do it. Talk yeah, now you talking me out this shit. Talk, no. talk you into it now. No, no, no. no. Shit. <laughs> mm. Feels like a while. I'll just say that. Oh, feels like shit. a good long while. You're like, is this shit over yet? But you just battle. You, it's work. It's that Carl Young shadow work. You deal on your shadows and you puke them up. And you're just like, I make jokes, but it's true. It's like, oh, the, I may say the devil, the darkness, whatever, the trauma, yeah. the negative entities, the succubuses drawing your fucking light out. Like, what, first, you know, a couple times ago, it was in my stomach and my liver. And then, you know, and it was in my jaw. I was chasing this snake around in my jaw. You start working on yourself like a, like a, like a fucking Christ or some shit. You start doing shit. It's weird. You're not in control of your body if you can connect. I didn't connect like that until the ninth and tenth time. Yeah, that's also why I keep going back. You go the ninth and tenth time. That's uh, when did you ever did it? Not the ninth. Do and you tenth have time a this goal year. with this shit? <laughs> ninth. <laughs> <laughs> Ninth We're just trying to get it clear. No, I had no goal. I just wanted to go once, and I th I thought I was gonna be one and done. And then yeah. you like, I was like, oh, I peeled back two layers of the onion, so to speak. And now I'm like, oh shit, you I gotta get see to the how core. Many fucking layers you can. No, peel. I want to get the root out, bro. Oh, you, you okay. yeah, I'm getting that motherfucker out. Okay, get yeah. that shit. Out. You're never gonna get rid of all of it because it's the human experience, and we all experience pain. But it's like, let me get rid of this big mama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll be much lighter and easier to operate and not be so triggered and all that shit. And angry and full of rage and want justice. <laughs> he hears me all the time, this poor guy. <laughs> He's so peaceful. He's from Minnesota. I was like, want to see my gun? He's like, you no. from Minnesota? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Salute, man. <laughs> Minnesota. Yeah, man. It gets, yeah. It gets cold in Minnesota. Well, how oh, are, yeah. That's why I'm here. What, so, 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 it, so what is Minnesota... Now this is an ignorant question. Is it a is it a state? Or yeah, it's a state. It's, it's a up cold Minnesota. zone. Mm -hmm. Minnesota. What, what, now what cities are there? Minneapolis. I mean, Minneapolis. Yeah. Min oh yeah, we the hella shows in Minneapolis. Yeah, so, like sometimes I gotta. Yeah, hell yeah, it's cold as fuck. Speaking out of that, how were your yeah. shows? You just did some shows in L.A., right? I was on ayahuasca. You no, we didn't do a show in L.A. You, you just we, stayed. We, we shot some music shot video. Yeah, we shot. Oh, two you videos. shot a video. Yeah. That's right. Shout yeah. out! Shout out! We got two songs. We already put one of the songs out. It's called Wow. It's called. No, uh, it's not called Wow. <laughs> Burner Phone. Uh, well, well, while both of us Burner only phone. know the name of our own fucking shit. Burner Phone. <laughs> Burner Phone. Yeah. And, and then we got another one called Brenda. Yeah. Video's going to be crazy. Yeah. Bro, yeah, that's so funny. Like, people are like, where were you just at? I'm like, 
I don't know. Is it your road dog son of a gun too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Man. Oh my god, that shit's crazy, yeah. huh? I did three one nighters, three different cities, and I don't remember what hotel I'm in. You know, you're like, yeah. where am I? Do you have a hotel? See, I got a hotel. I'm, I'm a I'm a hotel snob. Oh my god. On that road, I'm still in the middle. I'm in the upper upper tier middle though. Yeah. Sometimes I go up, but that shit's just too costly sometimes. So let me tell let me tell you this. So I'm a ham touring man with Jared Benton. I learned, I learned the the whole entire tour. And when I I mean everybody on the whole tour is staying in one hotel that mutually everybody decided on this is good enough. Jared was like, "Nah, that's cool." I'll be five minutes down the street. Yeah, I'm at the wall. This is, this is how, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know he I don't got know that, a certain way. I can't yeah. fuck with the, the, and it's not. It's just like I feel like I'm OCD. Maybe this ayahuasca trip will help me conquer that. If I'm in hotels in general, I always feel itchy. Like I just can't get comfortable. I respect that. The shittier though. they are, the worse it is for me to fall asleep. He's judging off pictures he, yeah. Yeah, sometimes he'd be like he'd show up to the spot and be like this spot actually look nice but i gotta go i gotta already, see the room he's already got yeah. the room down the street that he going to yeah. the road can be so damn brutal that i understand you're like yeah, you give me this one, one luxury that's your, yeah, that's I, it. Exactly. I agree because this shit is hard that's your only comfort on the road uh, on the road is where you're sleeping at yeah no this i just did greensboro charlotte and greenville south carolina was the last one I woke up at 4 a.m. and flew home straight to ayahuasca, bro. That shit was oh, gnarly. <laughs> and then nice. I did two straight days of that. Sunday, I came back. I just slept. Damn, and it says, to, I think it says, for, right? your, still... it says on your, it says on their healing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has it. And I like the way that you uh, you keep a, a, a detailed schedule. Oh, I have to. And my boy got healing circled with a heart <laughs> next to it over here, over <laughs> this weekend. Yeah, because it's not drugs. People yeah, think it's drugs. It's it, medicina. Yeah, that, 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 the doing. road warrior shit, bro, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, it. How many warrior. cities y'all do a year? A ton, right? We do so many fucking. We, we actually we were getting ready to do. Uh, the, the most I've done, I think we did. I, I did I did a tour with Tech Nine and Freddie. Oh, Gibbs. I love Tech Nine. Oh and my goodness. We did goodness. 74 fucking days, and I think we only had like four days off. That was the longest shit I think I've ever yeah. done. I think it was maybe it was 78 days and four, only four days. 78 long. cities? 78. Beat my record. I did 59. But I'm by myself, bro. Why do oh, you think yo. I'm doing ayahuasca? <laughs> you driving too? No, I, well, actually, all of it. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Sometimes Hello, buses. Okay. I'm done with those fucking Greyhounds, though. Oh, my I God. I can't do that, bro. This r run, we flew in, rented a car, went pop, pop, pop. I had the homie, though. I started making more money, and I could bring a homie. Yeah. That is so helpful. Shout out to Eric Friedman. I fucking love go. you. Shout out to Eric. And then, uh, yeah, so we flew in, drove, 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 flew home. Yeah, bro. But all of it, you know, just whatever makes logical sense for the run at the time. But just savage shit. It, I love it, but it it, it is it, taxing. It, it, yeah, bro. It, it is taxing. It tear your fucking ass. That's up, why I be man. refilling my cup on the sauce. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I hey, the road will have you. It's it, it's it's a different thing too, especially when you out there for a long time and you come back. It's like you you like you've been to fucking war. You don't know how it's. It takes a while for your mind to adjust back to fucking home. Yeah. For some reason. Oh yeah, I need one. I used to like fly home and then do a show that night. I'm done with that. I have to, I'm flying home to take a nap with my cats. <laughs> see, that's the dope part about y'all. See, the the fucked up thing. What I'm saying is like, it take when you get back. I got to adjust back to family life with kids and shit. And oh like, yeah, I was just on the road wilding the fuck out, and now I'm. Gotta yeah, go. daddy duties. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to stop the wilding. That's why I'm drinking the sauce. It's gonna come once you fucking start losing money from wilding out. Yeah, yeah. You or you shut that shit off quick when you yeah. start looking at that account and realize, damn, I got too drunk again and fucking uh, kicked the fucking door off the. Ooh. Had a wild, yeah. I, oh, I yeah, wrecked, it, but it wasn't even me. It was hey, like come, you sound like you need ayahuasca. Oh bro. no, no, <laughs> you're coming with me next time. I'm texting. You. Let's go <laughs> to the moon. The wild people you bring with you. Yeah, let's go. Let's fucking go. You're like you know, I'm you, still on tour. Uh, yeah. When you when you fucking look at that account, you like yo shit. Damn. My man crashed the fuck. I'm ten thousand dollars down the hole because he crashed the tour bus. Wow. I'm so yeah. glad I got my party. I've been predominantly sober my entire career, but. God, I wasn't before stand up. And you just remind me, I didn't kick the door down, but I was at this party at this girl's apartment and I was all coked up. And I used to do flips off the walls. 
<laughs> so I go to do a flip off the wall, my leg just went in it, and I got <laughs> stuck. One leg in this girl's wall. In the wall. The whole party's <laughs> laughing, but this poor girl's like, ah, you know. And then I'm a, I'm a good dude, though. I patched and repaired it, and I said, if you don't get your deposit back, I'll fucking pay for it. But she got her deposit back. We're good. Shout out to her, man. Yeah, hey, man. I was all faded when I tell the story. I was all faded, and um, you know, dudes were like hanging from the hanging from this bar in the, in a in in this living room there was a bar they were hanging in there and your girlfriend would like come and like hold on to you and you'd like hold oh, yeah, on yeah. as long as you can and i seen everybody do it and i was hella faded and i was like yeah all right come on come on baby let's do this <laughs> and she got, i came and held myself up and then she came in and she like forcefully came and like jumped onto me <laughs> and it we rocked back and rocked forward and i Immediately lost oh. grip and broke the whole table, Ooh. just everything in the living room. We fell through the table. It was the most embarrassing shit ever. I could not believe <laughs> that I fucking did that <laughs> to somebody's house. And then I was just like, I'm sorry. Do you you have cash out? <laughs> what what do you want? I, I want to make this right. But it was crazy because when I when I hear about you. Jump, you know, trying yeah. to do a trick and kicking a hole in the wall. Like I have it. It's a different experience. It was way more embarrassing because my <laughs> my ladies were her cousins. They were like, "You can't hold me up." I was like, "Look at how you jumped on me! I think you that, set me up for failure. Yeah. I could have held this up, but you did me wrong. I, that, that's the worst. <laughs> you did us wrong. The next day when you're sober and you gotta wake up and oh, reflect on shit. the bullshit is the worst. That was oh, the worst. Man. Who do I have to apologize to? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, I threw a hot dog Damn. at my cousin. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> that same night I went through the wall. I'm pretty sure it was that night. My buddy puked everywhere, and we were all fucked up. And this poor girl puked a hole in the wall. <laughs> Hey, he's just puking on her bed and shit. It can get like, cold Whoa. out. It get cold out there, man. Shout out to my old <laughs> DJ. I'm not going. I'm not even gonna say his name. But when we used to go on the road, he 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 used to always have to have some coke, right? Yeah. So we and I'm not even gonna say the name of the venue, but there's a venue in uh, I think Amityville, New York. Mentally, well, I'm from, I'm from yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mentally kill your family. <laughs> yeah. Thinking I won't, goddamn it. I no. will. Mentally ill from Amityville. But anyway, he always wanted coke, right? He couldn't find coke, so the dude was like, I got crack. He did crack, but he was DJing for me. Now crowd pack, yeah, and smoking crack. Oh, wow. So they, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. got banned from that spot. Oh, of course. Shit. From the occasional. Just for a little crack. It was just a little was occasional a crack smoke from it. my ex DJ. I ain't saying your name, but they know who he is. You know who that was. But oh, you know I who know you are. Look at look at it. But he got his life you know together you are, now. He's he turning no. around. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, homie. No, I get it. I was, yeah. Drugs, man. Whew. Mm. Drugs is a hell of a drug. Oh, God. oh, we're sharing stories. You remember, I like how stories inspire another story. This is the first commercial I ever booked it was microsoft bing and in the audition i was mosh pit guy right in the audition you had to run and jump on like an inflatable pad yeah. and they're like this is what you're going to do on set and so now we're on set and we're at harvell's in santa monica right there it's this like jazz bar but they rented it out to shoot the commercial and they're like okay craig show us what you're going to do and i just like okay audition you know run jump bam and so i did that on the table with all the actors sitting around it with drinks and shit I basically power bombed the table. I wow. ripped it off. I spilled drinks on everybody. They're not even rolling. I like got up and they're they're just so worried. They had to re wardrobe all the actors because I got them all wet. Ugh. And they're like, bro, like like get less, you know. You still got the job? <laughs> yeah. Did you, yeah. Oh, I was there on set. It was oh, too late. Shit. Oh, they wanted to <laughs> oh, fire oh, I thought, me. So this is not an audition. This no, is no, the this, actual, you this got is it. the shoot. So the audition, okay. I did the audition at the shoot. And it ripped the table off, and they had to bring in the the stage tech guys. What are they call master grips, the grips to yeah. like rescrew the table in. <laughs> the all the crew, not the staff, like not this is fucked up, but not the nerds, but like the handyman, they're dying, bro. Yeah. They're like this kid don't know what yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. I was just a savage. I broke the table. I also had poison oak all over my body, and I was getting <laughs> blood and pus on everybody. Oh, no. It was terrible. I'm so sorry. But I went on a hike with my drug dealer, and I went off the trail, and I got poison oak, but I already booked it. And it was like 10 racks. So I was like, I got to get this money. Yeah. They paying it for commercials? I, I'm, not, I went, I, I'm not familiar yeah, for that with one. poison oak. Is it yeah, like you don't poison? Be. It's I, oil. 
and I took a hot bath, and it went in my system, and it went everywhere, and I had it all over my body. I had it everywhere, bro. I had it on my mm. thighs, my balls, my ass. Oh. My, but only the touch spots was like my arm and my leg. Is that mm. shit, and it's not contagious, is it? It is only when the oil's on you, like yeah. day one. But then after that, no. But it was gross. I, it looked like all these scars, and I went to the makeup, and I was like, can you cover this? And she's like, oh. oh. She's like, I don't know. I, like, yeah. I was like, don't tell anybody. I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> I broke that table, bro. Yeah, that's it. Y'all got some wild stories, huh? Well, Sound I, like, uh, I, I, I don't know. I Jared got a got a crowd surfing. Uh, oh yeah, I actually had to have fucking surgery. I retired crowd surfing. The <laughs> irony of this shit too. Um, the video out there somewhere. But so I had a song, and on one part of the song, I say, um, I spent a hundred grand on a one legged prostitute. Right. So I usually have people come on the stage. So this chick, she had one fucking leg, and she let me rock. She let me rock the show and hold her leg. Oh, shit. So I went to stage dive. That's a show. <laughs> exactly. Come to a Jaren Benton show. <laughs> Hello. It gets wild. <laughs> Hello. Bring your leg. <laughs> Bring your fucking leg. That, that, but, and that's not even the first time. I, I've done it before. It's, just, it's something about people let me fucking hold a fucking prosthetics. I don't know. They just yeah. offer me their fucking legs. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm holding her leg, rocking the fucking stage, stage dive. I knew the gap. It was too fucking far to make it, but I tried it anyway. Oh, I made no. It. Bashed my knee on the Ooh. barricade. Oh. It was her. Was so, that the Power 106 thing that I'm thinking of? Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's oh. the one I was there for. Oh, yeah, that oh, was you're talking, time. oh that was that's it, oh. the one I'm talking about. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot that's about okay. that one. <laughs> then, I'll, I'll get to that one. So, while they surfing me, I made it. I can't move my fucking leg. It's just dangling. Ooh. And when they put me back on the stage, oh. I couldn't, I fell down. I couldn't stand up. Oh. So I'm like, something's wrong. Luckily, that was the last song. Yeah. I walked off stage. I had to get rushed to the fucking <laughs> hospital. <laughs> wow. Like, I like, never even knew this, bro. <laughs> He's like, hey, lady, give me your leg back. <laughs> yeah, give yeah, me that yeah, leg back. Yeah. <laughs> Let me borrow that leg, bitch. Let me borrow that like, crutch. That. <laughs> so get to the hospital. And I'm like, oh. shit swollen. I'm like, my fucking knee swollen. Get to the hospital. Um, they said they couldn't do nothing. They was like, yo, it's not swollen. That's your fucking kneecap. Rupture my patella tendon. Kneecap went fucking far up. Had to go get Ooh. surgery. Stop stage diving. But there's another one that he's talking about. <laughs> I'll send you the video. You probably could post a clip of this. Um, oh, insert right here. <laughs> we did Power... What was it? The Power, it's Power 106. Yeah. Kanye was fucking oh, the yeah. headliner. Um, I love Kanye. We had we was rocking the fucking... The outside. outside. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Big ass concert. And so we usually stage dive. And everyone had just jumped. I went too late. It was in... You look at the video. Oh yeah, yeah. There was nobody there to catch him. Yeah. <laughs> there, 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 everybody had caught everybody else. Fucking concrete. There was no there was no other people left to catch. Him. His belly flopped on concrete. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Her, I was surprised I didn't fuck nothing up too. Yeah. Let me see if I, I, I got so this video. Funny. Let me see this shit. <laughs> I done my crowd surfing experience uh, was out in Europe, and I remember I was crowd surfing all the time, and I was crowd surfing in one of these foreign countries, and I, I just noticed somebody punching me, oh, in my back. To my why you you on the while crowd. I was crowd while I was and on top of the just, crowd, uh, uh, <laughs> socking me, like, and I on. remember turning around and grabbing his hand. And look, giving him the look of death. Yeah. Like, if you punch me again, I'm going to smack you in the face of this fucking mic. Yeah. You know, and I went up there, got back to the stage, didn't have my hat and my shoe. And I was just like, they threw my shoe back in, but I was back on stage, but I didn't have my hat for the rest of the of the of the show i was like oh, I'm, I'm, i think i'm done with this shit like somebody socking always, me in my yeah. back while i'm while i'm out there on the crowd like somebody's I'm always gonna like, ruin it this Hawks guy's performing for y'all giving you his art and you punching them in punching the back the in the punching back. me in my fucking rib and in my back while i'm not letting hobson had one where uh some bitch was just grabbing his fucking dick and wouldn't let his dick go yeah wow. <laughs> he was in there like yo let my dick go screaming that's the dangerous thing about stage diving <laughs> let go of my dick it's not an easy sport. It's people. not because you just it's never know easy. the cruel intentions <laughs> of the fucking assholes in the crowd. Yeah. Damn, it gets rough. You made me remember one the no leg 
I just did in in Greenville. This audience member, he's like, "Oh, bro, you're so funny." And he uh, he had he just lost a leg, and he's like, he's like, uh, "I was drunk and lost my leg on a train track on cocaine." Ooh. He said like several drugs. I was like, "Damn, bro!" But he had a smile though. And then I was like, "You sober now?" And he's like, "Oh God, no!" And I was well, like, oh, <laughs> I was, I was like <laughs> "He lost your leg." Like, what I, else? I, 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 but I feel Sir, him though. I feel I'm him. It's like, "Fuck it, I ain't got no leg." No. I mean, <laughs> he's committed. Put yeah. the bottle down, <laughs> sir. You're gonna lose the other leg. Keep it going, man. <laughs> Fuck it. You gotta wake up and realize you ain't got a leg. He was falling all, all over fucked the up. place. I couldn't tell if he was drunk in one leg or just the one leg. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to find that's that video. Dark, that's I, but I want to say this because when you're talking about actually when you got the injury on stage, it reminds me of the time I was in Vegas uh, opening up for Dizzy and I was had Exhibit. I was about to bring him on the next song. He was my special guest and my shoulder always dislocates. Mm. Um, you know, it just happens to me. And over time... I used to have to immediately go to the, you know, to the emergency room and things like that. And then the guy in the emergency room was like, this is going to get expensive. Like, let me show you how to, like, get your shit back in place Ooh. and maintain, like, a calm mentality while you do it. And I was on stage and I was like, put your hands in a, ah, oh, ah. Ah, and it was like this. And I had to finish like, the song. I kept rocking it. Kept rocking it. And I was like, damn, if this song ends and this shit don't go back in place, I, number one, I can't keep the show going because yeah. I can't sit up. Because if I go straight, then the arm will go like this. Whew. So you're you're linked down. I'm finishing the song, trying to do the shoulder movement. And I was like, I also can't have a special, like my set is over when this verse ends. You know what I'm saying? This verse and this chorus ends, we're done. You know, if this don't get fixed. And I remember shaking, shaking, shaking. <laughs> bop, pop back in place. I was like, oh, oh, that's wow. oh, oh my yeah. God. You know, he that would have been, con been convenient if you was T.I.'s hype man and oh, he was doing shoulder lean. <laughs> shoulder lean. <laughs> I would have been able to hit the whole Oh, I got a good question. I Normally I'm bad at interviews, but I love hip hop. Who's the favorite? Who's like the. Somebody you work with, like for me, it's Bill Burr. You know, who's who, shout out to Bill Burr. Shout out to Bill Burr. He did my podcast. I love you. Who's somebody like that you work with that you you just can't believe it? You know, Michael Jackson. Are you shitting me? I'm bullshit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. um, damn. I know I have a few that I that I can't think of right now. But watch when I leave. I'm gonna be like, who? Like, oh shit. Did you ever work with Andre? Cause aren't you? You're from no, Atlanta, I'm gonna tell right? you some crazy shit though. So when I was a teenager, I used to have a rap group, and we used to fucking. Um, okay, so the outcast that you guys know is fucking huge. Back when they first started, they were like our hometown heroes, but they wasn't like big like that, right? So when back then, we didn't have the fucking internet. So in order to get on, you had to find someone and rap a verse to them, right? So we rapped to one of the producers of Outkast named Rico Wade, and uh, he wanted to sign us. So we also had an interview with Outkast. Goody Mob had just put out fucking uh, their first album. We was at a college radio station. Me, Big Boy, my rap group, uh, and Goody Mob. We just did a we we had a cipher. Crazy. That's yeah. crazy. That's Andre crazy. did not rap in the cipher, but he was standing in that cipher listening to us all rap. That's fucking insane. Facts. There it is right yeah. there. So damn. Damn. Yeah. I mean you're in a group with fucking exhibit, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. Be real. Yeah, for sure. I think on the last serial killers album, seeing uh seeing uh Dr. Dre oh, mix shit. a song of ours, mix my vocals, my hook vocals and Work on the beat and, and sit in the studio and and I can't believe that that yeah, Dre is working shit. on always said it, on man. on some some of uh, some music that I created and looking over and being you like were, that's you that's crazy <laughs> great like you know that that meant a lot you know obviously my favorite uh, rapper I'd say my vo first influential rapper that I that I I seen the way he dressed and who he was and and I wanted to be I wanted to be Snoop Dogg. When I seen Do Doggy Style, I, I I wanted to get. I'm like, I want that same outfit. Yeah, that's that's me. That's what I identify with. So to go from there to being on songs with him and things like that, 
uh, special, you know, for for just the childhood part of me, you know. But damn, all, all dude, of that, that's you amazing. Know? You work you work with arguably one of the greatest producers ever, yeah. ever. You know, oh, Doctor Dre. Yeah, Dr. That, that, that's Dre. not even. I think arguing. I might have. Did I fuck up my? I think I might have fucked up my Dre. You definitely blew that. You threw a you, leg at him. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I tried to smash a girl in his bathroom. Damn. Oh no! <laughs> Go ahead. Hold on. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Nobody needs to know. Hey, it no, no, no. <laughs> but no. I, yeah. You know. Hey, we've all been there. Shout nice? out to Doctor Dre. That I used man. Shout Dre out is to Doctor Dre in his big bathroom. <laughs> it, it, but it, and it yeah. was just a, it was just I was just doing too much, man. Once again. You come I, with I me was, in December. I, I yeah, get you. Yeah. I, got I was you, drunk, bro. and I was I was coming there to meet Exhibit. I was coming there to meet Dre. Um, Exhibit. I, I was. I wanted to fucking. That was like a dream, man. To sign with Dre, and I was like, oh shit, this could be that fucking moment. Oh yeah. And, and I fucking got had too a drunk chick with trying me. to get wet, Willie. Yeah. yeah. You tried to get Willie wet. Up. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sorry. Right. I'm sure Dre I, would understand. You know. But but I didn't though. Cause the girl was not down with it. I was like, "Oh, I'm Dre's." I got this weird shit. This is what I used to do. I used to go to spots. If I'm with a chick, I would go to classic spots like, like let's say like the Roxy, right? Not the Roxy. Let's say um, the Rainbow Room, right next to the Roxy. Yeah. Let's say that's that's a legendary bar. Like uh, it I, is. I know, like all the '80s rockers used to fucking. They got good uh, AA meeting there at noon. Well, thank oh, they do. You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll stay and get so, some drinks after. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> I'm with a chick, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> let me smack, let me try to fuck in the bathroom." So I would go. I I don't know why it was this weird shit I was into. Like I, I had used to, to fuck like doing in the that bathroom of legendary on, places on cocaine mainly. <laughs> That's it, you know. Hey, let's go. <laughs> cocaine had you down a crazy Co- fucking a- road. Up. Everybody's down <laughs> now. Sometimes it'd be the girl's idea. You mm-hmm. know, it's cocaine when you're drugged out. It's exciting. You're like, oh. We're at a bar, bathroom, and then, and then you look back, you're like, nah. Like this, this is not why it's gotta be, That's why it's got to be legendary awful. spots. Oh, you know. Now I'm retired. He's like, yeah. Yeah. he's like, man, he was like, what the legendary Fridays down the street for the TGI <laughs> <laughs> <like>, Fridays. Any <laughs> 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 of the Fridays doesn't count. You, know? you, ever, you ever have sex in the Applebee's? <laughs> <laughs> <It's gonna hit me. laughs> but my thing was, I was like, oh shit, I'm pretty sure, fucking Guns and Roses, fuck, had fucked the chick in his bathroom before. So that was like the motive. It was like, oh shit, I you know forgot. I sucked some titties. This is, I was going to get canceled. Everyone's too pussy now. But I sucked some titties at the Rainbow Room in the tree shop. And there's a little little bungalow up there. And oh yeah, that's. that's uh, yeah. I, I, I've been to the Rainbow Room fucking. Uh, I can't even tell you how many times I've been there. I've never been. You know how you go up and you go to the bathrooms upstairs, and then there's another stairwell up yep. into yeah. another. I've never been up that's there. That's like a clubhouse. That, that's. That's the drug den. Yeah, from what I had. Uh, that, that's uh, uh, I never ventured up there. I was dating a ballerina. We were hammered. She sat on top of me and pulled her titties out, and I was just in heaven. <laughs> and then I remember I I I had a tail light out, and I was hammered, and I drove home, and I would just went like this. <laughs> oh boy, Whew. legendary! Yeah. Hey man, shout Don't out to Rainbow yeah. Room, Don't bro. Do that. That. Because I'm trying to find this fucking video for you, by the way. I'm sorry, man. No, I'm he'll like, still scrolling it. through this shit. Oh, it's I'll do personal? it after. Fuck hey, it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, He'll get it and okay. we'll get it. I want to say about the Rainbow Room. The Rainbow Room was the first place and the really the only place that I had, you know, moving from Philly to L.A. And I seen, like, you go to the Rainbow Room and order some food and roll a joint and smoke it on the patio. Police weren't fucking with you. Nobody was. It was an area where you could blaze up. And that was, like, to me was unheard of yeah, you know what i had place. after that i had you know went to amsterdam and things like that and seen that but in the united states or anywhere it's like wasn't even you couldn't even fathom it like it wasn't possible to to happen yeah and the fact that you could be on sunset roll a joint and smoke it on the street and not get fucked with by police or the people that ran the establishment that was Amazing. That, that's the go-to rocker bar. I yeah. mean, mm-hmm. I mean, I know Lemmy used to be. Yeah, Lemmy. Yeah. I seen him there once. From yeah, he, he, from Motorhead. Motorhead. He yeah. just hang out. Yeah, he was there five, six, seven days. R.I.P. Uh, R.I.P. Lemmy. Rest in peace. He lived in this apartment building right next to my buddy, and we just he'd be like, Lemmy, you might remember Jordan. Remember Jordan? Yeah. Remember yeah. yeah. He was he, he, he was one was of the drinking. he was one of yeah, the yeah. inspirations of trying to smash in that fucking bathroom because <laughs> I, I saw that little documentary with him. Yeah, and I knew that was his spot. He used to always be. 
at that fucking bar. He was bar. so funny, dude. There was an interview with time. him. Yeah. They're like, because he was on meth for like 50 years, bro. Damn. And people were like, you ever going to try to quit? He's like, it's too late to find God now. And I just, I kind of respected that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, fuck it, dog. You yeah. do you. You ever seen that Motorhead, the documentary on him? No. It's, yeah. it's fire. It's Watch awesome. it. Yeah. I see him hella times. You know, bro, when I was just starting out, 2007, 8, 9, B Real was going there nonstop. We finished at the studio. They'd always go down to the B, to, to the Rainbow Room. And I never had no money like that. And I would go down there. I was always invited and I would go kick it. And I remember they, they you know, I ain't supposed to, be, like, bro, like, I was so struggling at that particular moment in time. Like, you know, they would do the the warm loaves of bread with the, with the, it was amazing. Yeah. yeah. You could go they eat that and food there. smoke smoke joints and I get some, some chicken tenders or whatever and sit there and I, I would, there would be be real there would be the homeboy from Motorhead, there would be all kinds of legendary rockers in that, in that thing and, and you know, I felt like I was being invited into a club. Yeah. You know, at the Rainbow Room was where Mellow Man Ace told Be Real that I rap. Because when I started out kicking it at Be Real Studio, I never told nobody I rap. That's because a legendary in itself. Mellow Man Ace told. At Be, Be Real, Real, at God, the this, Rainbow at the Room, Rainbow. at the Rainbow Room that, that Demrick raps in, in. That was during the time where people were always giving cds yeah. or always trying to like you said you had to find somebody yeah, to rap to them, yeah. so i would see people trying to rap for be real non-stop give them demos and everything and uh mellow man ace had told me don't do that like just come around and kick it yeah. so i was able to go to the studio with them and hang out and play 2k and then go down to the rainbow room all the time and it was about you know maybe in between four and six months that I was down there and B-Real didn't even know that I rap. And then B-Real was producing at the time and, and he was like, man, you know, I wanna, I got all these beats and I want like somebody new to rap on them. And Mellow Man Ace, B-Real went, walked away and Mellow Man Ace was like, yo, when B-Real come back, be ready. Yeah. B-Real came Damn. back and, and he was like, hey man, you know who's dope? And B-Real's like, who? It's like, Demery, young, young D is what they called me at the time. Young D. Pause. Stop it. I got it tatted, <laughs> man. It can't be a pause. I, I can't live my you. whole life as a pause. <laughs> hey, but. You tap pause over it now. <laughs> <hold on>. But. <laughs> tap pause over it. <laughs> I see. Hey, but, you know, it all happened at the Rainbow Room, and that was a really special moment in that whole thing. Like I said, going to the Rainbow Room and hanging out in that patio was felt like I was being invited to the club. Yeah. And Damn, that's that's like awesome, you know what? I, I, now that you say that, that's I forgot. Awesome. I, you in the group with him. Be real one of those guys who 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 I did shit with. I, I we we got a track together uh -huh. that I looked up to as a kid. Like he was one of those guys. Yeah. There's no better feeling than working with somebody that you looked up yeah. with as a kid cuz I've done that in stand up and, and Eric I, Sermon. And mm -hmm. and, and and yeah, there's it's you just like this, like <laughs> I list uh, be real. I listened to uh, Temples of Boom that CD yeah. uh, fifty million times, bro. That was my shit. I went to a fucking, yeah. I was like eleven or some shit. Went to a fucking Cypress Hill. My mom just dropped me off. Went to a meet and greet. They had put out a uh, what's the fucking out Black Sunday. That yeah, okay, I mean, that was my favorite one. Black Sunday. I had every album up until Rockstar. Mm -hmm. Every CD. I had the Case Logic, everything. Everything. Everything, yeah. bro. I had all the Tupacs, all the Wu Tangs. We used to uh, collect that shit, me and my so sister. You're a true hip hop head. Yeah, I love that yeah. shit. I love Salute. that shit. Um, we had some fools that would come to our high school and got us into underground hip hop. It was like Two Max and, and the Visionaries. Shout out to Two Max. Yeah, and then they got us into like Atmosphere, but on the first album, like Overcast. And shit, Minnesota, there yeah. you go, yeah. Mm -hmm. And no, I just loved all that shit. We'd go to hip-hop shows in Hollywood at the El Rey and see Swollen Members and Devari and all this underground Come shit. On, that's yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, Matt Shout Child, out, Child. You know, I dropped only. the album. I dropped the album. The first album that I dropped, 2015, was on Battle Axe Records, and it was yeah. uh, Matt Child uh, helped me get that album out. And um, yeah, kind of like sparked off my, my solo career. It was the first... Uh, Label to be like, hey, Demrick, we gonna put some bread in, into what you got going on. You got this album, we gonna we gonna show you 
the ropes and put me on tour in, in Canada. So shout out Mad Child. Hell yeah. Shout out Mad Child, man. Big yeah, time. it was awesome, dude. Living Legends, AC Alone, Abstract Root, all AC those. Alone, yeah. yeah. We used to get down. So yeah. And uh, yeah. Razzcast. That's an, uh, oh, yeah. man. I haven't done Razzcast. anything with Razzcast yet, but that's and then another guy. That's I easy. Fucking My gangster to. cousins yeah, yeah. would put in we'll like Spice in. One or something. I'd be oh, like, yeah, this Spice is scary. One Legend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, yeah. I love all that shit. I still do. I mainly listen to hip hop. I try to be positive now, though. You know, it's who hard. you listening to now? Just Kanye, cause I'm on yeah. my woo woo. Yeah. You know, time to heal. Jesus is king. What's Shout out, yo, yo, Kanye's <laughs> fire, bro. Kanye is fire. Yeah. I just mean, uh, I used to listen just mainly gangster rap and shit, but it influences you. Every time I listen to that shit, yeah, I just want to hold the gun. And when you listen to <laughs> Jesus is king, not so As much. As a child, not bro, so much. Yeah. As a child, gangster rap glorify it made i it made me just want a fucking pistol so bad as a young fucking wild child it it, it, it was it had that effect on you it was a weird effect it does it, it just it, it it made it look sexy like yo, i want yeah i want drugs I want, and I, guns i want to go i want to cool. do a drive-by yeah and then everyone gets locked up and goes to jail and gets shot and shit yep. yeah that shit's crazy i was about to get dark Shot yeah, we'll them. talk about it. That's why I'm doing ayahuasca. My cousins, they're all gangsters. My cousin got shot. They're all from the hood. Yeah. He's my cousin got shot in the leg with 45. He's alive. My other cousin Moises got shot in the head. He's no longer with us. R.I.P. R.I.P. Rest in peace. It's just gangster shit, and it's just like it's no. I tried to, you know, obviously not glorify it. I I like the rap, but it's like, dude, that shit's awful. Like, <laughs> go to church, you know, do yeah. something else. Stop it killing It'd be crazy though, but that was. That was the theme music to our childhood. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You know I feel like it raised me. Yeah, I feel like for I, real. I was raised off of me too. television and fucking gangster rap. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, no, and Kool Aid and he's Top like, Ramen. Had dads. I had a dad. I went like, to the bar. <laughs> my yeah, yeah. Just that shit was different. Like my childhood was the bar, crazy cousins that I love and respect and look up to, and they'd be getting out of prison and have teardrops and shit. I was 12 on a skateboard and be like, and they'd be telling me stories. And, but I wanted to be like them and I always loved them and looked up to them. But then I was like, okay, I'm not a gangster. You know, I'm a comedian. <laughs> what yeah. am I doing here? I can't fight. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, but th that's a cool way to, to take the trauma and everything that you experienced and put a comedy edge on it. Yeah. You yeah. know, there, there were always some of the best comedians ever came from some real shit oh richard pryor bro he's yeah. still yes that fool's bit about smoking crack oh my yeah. god yeah. that bro. is the funny richard lights pryor itself on fire lit itself on fucking fire um oh that's a, a, i'm a doc no i'm a the logic yeah. Fuck, you saw, yeah oh it's amazing amazing when, he, when his uh his grandma died and he poured uh he lit himself on fire intentionally he poured alcohol and lit and ran down the street. The guy said he was watching some shit to uh, what, what's the you know the um Vietnam War the monk yeah, the Buddhist monk yeah. protested, poured gasoline on himself, lit him lit him on fire, and he but he astral projected. He took a shot of ayahuasca. Oh, no. that's what he. I was no, I'm say, just kidding. Oh, okay. the, so <laughs> I was saying, are you really talking about this ayahuasca? Know, no, no, no. <laughs> the monks. What's crazy about them is they can go to that realm just on meditation and breath work. Crazy. But that's what they do. That's why they're up yeah, in the yeah. cave in the mountain. They're studying this shit for thirty years. I don't have the time nor the patience or discipline to do that. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm going to sit and meditate for ten years. That's awesome that they do that. But that's how that fool was able to light himself on fire. He just went. Mm. He's ohmed out of this world. That's Isn't crazy. That crazy. That is fucking crazy. He sat there and let and and, and fucking put himself on fire. Yeah, you can watch the I tape. I seen that he photograph. Just and then did, 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 I didn't flinch. And he didn't even move, did he? Mm -mm. Fucking crazy. Crazy. That's the power of the mind. That's how crazy that shit is. The power of placebo. Everyone calls it hippie. It shit works, bro. There's study after study. Mainstream science. The power of the mind is so real. It is. Oh, yeah. What you mean? Like, I agree with that completely. Everything, you know, the reason why my life is how it is came from here. The ideas, the things that I wanted, the way that I seen my life going and everything in manifestation and really putting forth an idea and turning it into fruition. I have so many things from the small things to the big things yeah. that were ideas. And then I have to be like, damn, you know, I always wanted this. 
made it happen. I always seen this or this was an idea that I have, an album forming from here to a physical thing. You know, the message you want to get across on that. Everything starts with the mind. Yeah. And the, the amount of things that you challenge yourself and the, we put limitations on how big we dream. And the bigger you're willing to dream and the bigger you're willing to think it through from up here out into the world could project on yep. the different level that you'll go. I love this shit. I love that and, message. And like shit. when you were a kid, did you ever think you'd be working with Be Real and Exhibit? I mean, you know, on this rap shit, I didn't, didn't see no other thing for myself. Like yeah. We were talking about it last night where, where I was like, damn, I, I decided at one point early on that this is going to be my life's work. And, and you the made world it got out the way yeah. and allowed it to become that. And yeah. that, that's another, go back to the point you were making with how everything is mental. That's also, it's a mental thing too because going through that, knowing that you want to be that, you go go through the ups and the downs of that shit, but you got to have a fucking strong mind to keep fucking believing and, 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 and keep going and keep focusing on yeah. that shit. You can't, you don't let the, the bullshit break you and say, fuck it. I love, uh, I believe it was Mike Jones' advice when he said, because you know sometimes you tour, you're, you're just exhausted. You don't have it. You don't have the fight in you. You're still mm -hmm. doing the dance, though, but he said consistency is key. And I, and I, key. I, Did I, Mike Jones say that? I think so. Okay. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Who? No. Which one's which? Hang on. Mike Jones. I'm Mike thinking Jones. about Mike Jones. Wait, who? Well, no. Wait, That's sorry. Who stay, like. stay fly? We fly bowling. Jim oh, Jones. Jim, Jim Jones. Jones. Shit, yeah. I said the wrong one. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know how you got the two mixed up. <laughs> no, I know. Jones, come on. Oh, yeah, I yeah, did yeah. a lot of drugs, dude. <laughs> I know the difference. Bowling, he said that. The other Jones. And he, and it's funny, I heard that after the fact. But there's so many times you just want to give up. You're not making money. It's not yep. this. It's not that. You're alone on the road. You're fucking sad. You're depressed, but you just keep showing up. And I always just kept showing up. And then I saw that. And it made sense because then the consistency shows up and then that get and then something pops off or you get inspired again and then you yep. just get to work. And then hey, it was Jim Jones, not Mike Jones, my bad. Another <laughs> thing too, I'm gonna give a message to people, man. And you you gotta stay in some shit, stick it through, stay consistent. You go to you're gonna go through them battles to where you wanna give up, but just you just never know when it's your time. Don't put a time limit on something unless it's it's hindering you from taking care of your own, you know, personal fucking, you know, taking care of life. But I'm saying this to say, you just never know when it's your time for something. So don't get discouraged by, or say, you know, if I ain't here by this time or shit, it's been five years, I still ain't did it and I ain't made it. So you quit. No, you just never know. What if, what if it's meant for you to make it on the fucking seventh year? And the, when you, I swear to God, it's like right when you're ready to quit, is right yeah. up before it's about to happen. Yep. Yeah. That's what it feels like to me. I'm for like, me, it wasn't even, for me, it, it it didn't happen like when I was ready. It was when I was comfortable with it not happening. And That's then it happened. happened. Yeah. yeah. When you surrender. Yeah. When, you release. when I was like, you know what, fuck it. If it don't happen, I'm cool. Yeah. I'm all right. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Yeah, because here's the whole thing. Like, are you, do, are you waiting? And this is like my thought process. Nobody got to tell me I'm an artist. Nobody got to tell me I'm a rapper. Nobody got to tell me I make music because I love to make music. Yeah, I share it with people because I am inspired to show my art. But if I just made this music all the time and kept it on my computer and kept it in my thing, that doesn't not make me an artist. I would still be that via validation of another person or not i chose to do this i you know if you like to go to the gym you don't gotta be a bodybuilder competitor somebody competing to to be somebody that likes to be fit so i'm not looking for anybody to validate my art i make art because i love making art and that makes me an artist and that's yeah. when it happens too it's when you just do it for the love of it. Bernie Mac said that all the time. Yeah, it that's just, where it starts. You just from. do what you love to do, and Conan said that too. You'd be surprised what miracles and great things will happen. I said, man, and we are doing it. Goddamn, inspires dance. your art. Yeah. Your your comedy inspire inspires his art inspires my art inspires, and that's that's how it comes back. I put a song out. I don't know what it's gonna mean to somebody. 
You know, I know what mm-hmm. it meant to me to create it, but what it means to somebody else is left up to interpretation. Whether you don't like it, whether you love it, whether it becomes something that you needed at a particular time and moment in your life, or something you like, ah, this ain't for me right now. You know, I made it thinking a particular thing and I'm sharing it, but that piece of art going to go out there and talk in its own way for you. I mean, that's it's that's so, how I think. It's so know? beautiful, too, to create a piece of art that reaches Dubai or, yeah, where, or great, yeah. Armenia. Right? Yeah. Let's, let's send help to them. How about that government? <laughs> you know, they're getting fucked up right now, poor bastards. Anyways, but yeah. yeah what's like going on out there? Uh, the, I forgot the other country, but the Turks are doing genocide again i didn't mean to get dark but yeah Yeah, fucking pray for armenia y'all they're getting fucked up right now this tiny little sovereign country being attacked by two big giants there's on the side and they're starving them out and shit over this last weekend uh this weekend coming up we were supposed to go out there the snoop right armenia yeah go to armenia for a show and then you know i just hit x's manager yesterday and we're we're talking about it, and he was like, "Yeah, we postponed it because of everything that's going on out there." But I wasn't really up on the what actually is going Google, on. Google Google the neighboring country. Our Gazette got the ban. I know some stuff, but I don't know all of the stuff. Yeah, there's two aggressors fucking up this little country, and they're starving out civilians, and it's really bad, and nobody's really doing shit about it. And we send all our money to Ukraine, and they're kind of Nazis over there. Google that shit. Anyways, yeah. Um, Shout out Armenia, man. We yeah. we, we feel for you, yeah. whatever going on out there, man. I know that's just crazy. Too many wars. Azerbaijan. Yeah, that guy. That Whoa. they're uh. They're <laughs> what did you say? Azerbaijan. <laughs> I was close. It's hard, man. <laughs> hey, hey, see, I'm from LA. Hey, yeah. I know about it. I say some people don't even know this is happening. I, you y'all kind of hitting me. Yeah, they're yeah. doing bad shit. I didn't There's know exactly to they're detail what them was out going on. Shit. They did a genocide during World War II, and they never admitted to it. And uh, the world knows it happens. And they're doing it again 50 years later, whatever. 80 years later. I can't do math that fast. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been rolling, player? An uh, hour and 12 minutes. Oh, nice. Nice. I have some final questions. Yeah, let's go. We've been hitting it, though. I like this community service. I'm a knucklehead. I've been in and out of trouble my whole life, but mainly mischief, not no real shit. And, uh, like, I try to be of service to the community. That's the whole point. Is like a bad event that changed you for the better. For instance, I give this example. It's funny, but I threw firecrackers at police officers on horses in the 4th of July, but it got, I have four charges, so I was afraid of prison, so I got sober and yeah. in the stand-up. That's an example story. Anything like that. And I got one more question. <laughs> you want to start? I'll let you start. Well, I, I'm talking about it in a, in a song, um, but, you know, I I, re- I ran away from home. Uh, uh, I was uh, 14 years old. Me and two of my homies, we, Statue of Limitations, I spoke about it in music or whatever. We took a girl's car, we took her checkbook, and we drove from Spokane, Washington, to the Bronx. Bad checks all across the United States. Back when you could do a bad check, they had to find where you could do it. You know, eating mainly at Pizza Huts because they wasn't checking IDs. Finding gas stations where you could fill up. You found a gas station that would take a bad check. You would buy the canister with the gas and then you fill up extra so that you got gas just in case when you hit a spot where you couldn't. And we went all, all the way to Brooklyn and we stayed in Brooklyn at my homeboy. Uh, he had a, his baby's mom was out there. And, uh, you know, I'm just a 14 year old kid and I'm staying in Brooklyn. And he takes the car to the grocery store one time. He doesn't come back. His baby's mom kicks us out. I'm down at Grand Central Station at this point. I don't know where to go. I called my mom after being in New York and gone for like three months. And I call her and I ask her for some help. She sends me to North Carolina to my, to my uncle and aunt. Rest in peace, my uncle. He was like, uh, yeah, we're going to get you home, but this is how you going home. We're going to buy you a Greyhound ticket that zigzags the United States. It was a 10-day trip to get there. They got me a loaf of bread, peanut butter and jelly in the same jar, and a bag of chips and a Sunkiss, a box of Sunkiss. And he said, hey, man, anywhere you want to get off, get off. We just go everywhere. 
You get the fuck off and go live your life. But if you get to the other side of this, when you get there, show up a different way. And I totally did. By the end of that trip, when I got back to the other side, I see how I, I affected my grandpa, grandma, my mom, everything. The thing of traumatized of being gone for months without them knowing where I was. And coming out on the other side of that, you know, my mom had moved to a different city from Spokane to Tacoma. When I came back on the other side of that, I moved to a new place, gave me an opportunity to get a fresh start. I found a new respect for my family. I found a new respect for what I wanted. I was a little less selfish because of that. And so that that's my story of what, what changed me. And that's what's Salute up. Salute to you, bro. That's yeah. what's up. And I shout out to your family for putting it down like that because I often, I'm grateful for fools that do say, hey, motherfucker, you, you got to act right. Because, you know, we get a little wild out there sometimes yeah. and you need, otherwise people just enable you and you never get sober, you never change, you never show up a different way and, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. I do like fools calling out fools bad behaviors because it's the only thing that ever got me sober is motherfuckers talking shit and not, you know, not being led in houses and stuff. I'm like, hey, come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> My bad about that hole in your wall. <laughs> 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 I'm back. <laughs> Anyways, we sold for ten years, baby, and and it's all about just learning and changing and growing. And I'm trying to preach that shit as much as I can. I'm all fucked up too, just doing the best I can. You know, that's and all. That's, you can that's do, it. Man. That's all we can do. Take this shit one day at a time. Just help these junkies the out you there. Do. You know, I know how hard it is. I always want to get fucked up. This it's crazy out there. Who doesn't want a little heroin every now and then? <laughs> 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 Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I, one specific thing I would probably say that changed me <laughs> the, the, the Dr. Dre bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, I'm hungover yeah. right now, <laughs> fool. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm fighting a horrible hangover right now. I've been <laughs> trying not to throw up yeah. live on the podcast, but no, real, real shit for me. It was just uh, probably the birth of my 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 daughter that that changed me. That that it because when you have a kid. Um, you know, I was just didn't really have a direction to know what the fuck I was doing. I was still trying to do the rap shit, but it kind of kicked you in the ass, like, yo, <laughs> you dealing with real life now. You better get to yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, for me, it's short and sweet. I would say the birth of my first child kind of like was like, oh shit, I I'm about to be a father. I don't I don't know the first fucking thing about this. Yeah, shit. it just it it humbled me and it made me um. I knew I wanted to be there, so it made me stop doing a lot of risky shit until I made it in a rap game and I went back to doing crazy shit. <laughs> but no, I know it's really hard. <laughs> Fame is a drug. <laughs> Fame is a drug. It's so hard. <laughs> it is. Stay strong, soldier. But no, that that was it, man. Just uh, it kind of, it kind of. I, I feel like it made me grow up. Yeah. Yeah. I it, it made me grow up fast. Like yo, get it the fuck together. And and I gotta say her mom too because um. Her mom was uh, going to law school. I looked at her. She was getting her shit together. I'm like, I'm still, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be that dude. So that was it for me. Dang, should I spill all the beans? Spill yeah, I beans. guess so. Let's spill them, man. Spill them beans. Hey, man, I got a one night stand pregnant, um, and it's due in February. <laughs> that's facts? Like now? Oh, that's <laughs> real? That's real? <laughs> we dropped, look at his face. Yeah. You got a one, no, you got she's a, a lovely lady. I don't know her yet. It was a we'll one night stand? <laughs> like, this really some fucking... No, uh, this just uh, happened. Yeah, the th- news the got dropped on me very recently. With Seth Rogen. Yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> It's going to be a daddy. Why you think I'm Salute. doing ayahuasca so yeah, much? Yeah. I got to pick up these in. demons, yeah. bro. That's it, man. And uh, you know what's real crazy? I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. I didn't really want to tell everybody yet. But here it is. And uh, no, but her her uh, tubes were tied. And they yeah. grew back together. And, and and then like everyone is, you know, think I see his face right now. He's like, okay. No, I went to the doctor and, I, you know. And that shit's true. And it's just so funny. I made the joke. I was like, oh, shit, I am Mexican. There it is. Pow, pow. Miracle, baby. Pow, <laughs> shout out to Jesus club. is coming Listen, back. Did, did you, was, was the one night stand shit real? It was like, is a chick you... It's only one time, yeah. And wow. then we, I've been uh, going so to the So you doc- fucking one night stands raw? 
No. We should have a flashing like my Tinder time. Let's go. It's so hard. I got rid of narcotics. Let me bear back some girls. Come on. Come on, guy. Anyway. Bear back in one night stands is crazy. <laughs> at, at, yeah. at least now I you don't know, do heroin anymore. At least they right? kind of might have a cure for AIDS now. So it's, it's, if it's not the best time to go raw, this is the best time <laughs> the in the world to fucking be fucking raw. Yeah. I'm writing jokes about it. I'm like, oh, I'm having a baby with with a one night stand. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna tell my girlfriend. <laughs> this is some real knocked up shit. Are you? Oh no, is that real too? Oh, my. I told her. I told her. Hold up. I'm an open book. I said, hey, baby, I'm sorry. So this is amazing, go? yeah. Hold on. We, can, hey, we can't just hey, end. Hey, can, yeah. hey, you just on. opened up a whole. Hey, you hey, some crazy how shit. Is that? What's that? What? Hey, let me get some of that. Holy Elk shit, man! <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's> shit, <laughs> get him a beer. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Craig's gonna be a daddy. No, uh, that's crazy. But hold up, huh? are you sure it's yours though? Well, we gotta do some tests, but yeah. I'm sure, like I, I don't, 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 don't jump right in. Yeah, until no, you no, get that yeah, test. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We got, you know, we're gonna get a test. Because isn't that crazy? Because there is sure. a big percentage of I seen that I forget what it is of like people that are raising kids that ain't yeah. theirs. Yeah. No, I know it happened to a few homies. It happened to a couple of mine. Yeah. No, we're doing the test for sure. But I'm it's it's, it's mine. You shot up the clip. You put in you that work. Uh, huh? How did um, your How did your girlfriend <laughs> take that? How did she take that? Not well. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Is she still your yeah, girlfriend? She still, yeah, that's the biggest. If she's still riding with you, that's Yo, you better put a ring on that. You got to marry her. You got to marry that. <laughs> yeah, she's here. Okay, this is the addendum. I wanted to be clear because I, I wasn't articulate. I got a beautiful woman pregnant before I met my lady I'm dating right now. On the record, it was before. Okay. Okay, all right, because then I don't want to sound like a complete monster here. And, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Wildlife, huh? Okay, I love you all. Strap up out there. Hey. <laughs> wow. He's shout, like, out to, shout out to you. Thank you. You're a real one. You are um, a real one. Mm. Anyways. <laughs> oh, so what had happened was. <laughs> trip fail. I trip <laughs> fail and came in her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> was this worth it? <laughs> I'm actually was that, was excited. It, was it fire? I'm excited. Look, I'm sweating now. Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, you got you got it. <laughs> Anybody have a Are you guys on? in the same state at least? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I am excited. For sure, it was a shock. It's been quite the process. I know it's mine because the spirit came to me on ayahuasca. I said, what's Everything up, son? Good. How you doing? <laughs> I'll take care of you. Let me get an airstream in the woods so we can run from the Illuminati. And, Listen, and, uh, that's did you, uh, huh? Did you, um, uh, that's, I'm tripping, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Damn. Did, did you smash again? No. Okay. Um, Are you going to smash again? Well, I can piss off my girlfriend. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but you already, he's like, I already got her pregnant. I mean, let me just, let me just check. Let me dive in a couple more times see what it's like. <laughs> Um, Listen, hold on. Right. No, don't do that. Don't do that. that. Shot to my, my, my boys, some my boys don't do that. Don't do that. It doesn't yeah. mean that. But girl, <laughs> real one for riding with you, riding yeah. with homie after all of this. He's not gonna do it again. Yeah, we may, maybe yeah. we won't clip this part up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is for the long form listeners. That's oh. crazy, bro. That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. No, because I did I, you not want to have an abortion? It was not my choice, That's and true. the information came uh, later. No, everything checks out i, I want to tell the so i had actually really wanted children and i was with my ex lady for four years and we we're talking about it but shit was just i loved her but it just wasn't going you know yeah. it was falling apart and we both knew that was a bad idea you know yeah. but i had wanted one for a while dude i'm nearing 40 you just want to sprout some kids out this yeah. shit happens i just didn't know who mine. went <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> you can you can you can you can, i'll let you you can take the financial responsibility of mine just to kind of yeah see what it's like you know what I'm saying? yeah well now i'm finally in a position where i actually could that was one of the things money was always uh, I always wanted a family, but I was like, I can't even afford myself. How am I gonna afford a Nino? Yeah. But now we getting we getting gold, baby. He no, uh, and then uh, so I really really wanted one. I just didn't know know it was gonna happen this way, you know. <laughs> and uh, God provides. Yeah, he do. <laughs> Community <laughs> service, <Yeah>. baby. <laughs> he put you. Uh, Good. He put you to the anyway, test. How but, did that call? How did that call? It was a text. <laughs> she tweeted wow. it. <laughs> now, Andre, Andre, Andre 3000, as much as he has evolved, but he did have the greatest fucking uh, 
line. About two weeks later, she called me with some bullshit, talking about her period late. Guess what I did? Click. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> you could have did that. That's not I just that's, ran from it. That, no. <laughs> no, but <laughs> shout out to my baby mama because she was the real one, and she's like, "Look, neither of us planned for this. You don't." Is she cute at least. You don't have to be involved if that's you don't want to be. That's what they say. You yeah. know. That's what that, they that, say. Bro, don't fall for that shit. Don't, 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 bro. It's, Does it's, she have yeah. any other previous kids? She's not. She, no. No, she's. No. Oh, no. Oh, she don't know. Bro, you're going to be getting them calls. I'm going to get in trouble. You're going to say You're going to say, you're you're gonna say remember you said. Nah. No. Oh, I know. It's already know. I'm a fan. She going to remix it on you quick. Puffy about to be dancing in here. She invented the motherfucker. I'm a man. I'll take care of my kid. I ain't never going to dodge that. I hate fools that dodge that. But listen, I'm going to tell you this, though. You also got, I, hopefully her pregnancy goes well and she doesn't, the hormones change. It make, when, when when they get pregnant, it's a different beast you're dealing with too. Like, oh, that's why I'm not around. No, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. Dang. A toast to that. That's a joke. I'll be there. I'll be there. And I'm Mexican, bro. I have the biggest support system ever. I got oh, yeah. fucking 14 babysitters on the line. That's, oh, that's, that's real right there. And then her family didn't believe her either, because uh, apparently that happens. Fallopian tubes grow back together even after being fixed. And, and then, then that. after the fact, I didn't know that either. It happened to my aunt. She uh, sprouted her son out when she was 48. And so my cousin has a brother that's like 30 years younger. You know what I mean? Like, this shit happens. Oh, and then yeah. she went to the doctor. She's like, this is impossible, because they were told, she was told you never can. So they did it young. You know, yeah. I don't want to air everybody's shit, but it's too late now. Anyways, aired. shit grew back together, and and we we're having a miracle baby. Don't trust the tubes. Yeah, <laughs> and Don't trust uh, the tubes. <laughs> shit, wild life, huh? That's a wild life. Hey, congrats to you, man. Hey, congrats. congrats. Man. That's so funny. Did she, you better get a test. You congrats. don't mind? Is she, is, she, is, she, is she Mexican too? No, she's a white lady. Okay. That was the first question my mom asked. She's Mexican? I went no. She went, oh. Did she listen? Did she? I said you're racist. At least mama. is she uh, is she a rich white lady? She ha she has family support. There's uh, uh that was comforting too. Did you nut into money? I, I don't know yet. We're about to find out. <laughs> I, I you might have hit the jack. You might have fucked around and hit the jackpot. But Craig's taken hey. care of now. <laughs> yeah, it could go two ways. It Craig's life is great. Your yeah. family has oil money. No, I have, these are jokes, folks. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really asked many questions. It's all new to me too. He doesn't know her, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he doesn't know her. He I knows just met her. Day. I just met her. Well, salute to you, man. You know, sometimes... I would always took the steps. What steps? Oh, I get it. You and Andre, your little coded <laughs> message. <laughs> no, no. I'm on... I mean, yeah. We doing ayahuasca. We we doing good things. That's the salute to you, bro. Yeah. Just for just for having the fucking You guys got two tooth bombs. I didn't know this was going to happen. <laughs> you took I was them? holding that in for another guest. I was gonna invite Bobby Lee. I was gonna invite Bobby Lee. I fuck with Bobby. Lee, I love man. Bobby Lee. I was like, "Hey, Bobby, I'm he having go, a kid." He, he, I, I could. Like, I, I I wouldn't want to be around Bobby Lee if he go pull his dick out though. It's not that big. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not oh, scary. It. <laughs> it's not the size of it. Yeah, it's, it's not the size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But hey, I salute to Bobby Lee, man. You gotta. I'm a. I'm a. You gotta. Oh, I love a, him. A He's helped me out so much throughout my career. Funny motherfucker. He's the man. But yeah. That's all right. I guess. Well, I feel the, special, man. You told us instead of Bobby shit. Lee. Yeah, it just yeah. happened. Well, you said, you know, you kind of said that, and I was like, all right, here. I was gonna keep that to the chest and tell all details. If you ever need advice, hit me up, man. I got you. Yeah. If you need some father advice? I got you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, bro. I got you, man. <laughs> I, <got you>, <laughs> I can show you places where they'll never find you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be like, hey, where's that checkbook? At? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> we're gonna get you there. <laughs> I'm going to the Bronx. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Whew, that's getting hot in here. All right, for the final question, <laughs> now that'd be serious. Then you guys got a good poop into the pants story. You shit your drawers on a first date or something? No, I never shit my pants. You never shit your pants? I know you got one. Come on, I never shit my pants. Man. <laughs> you I'm sorry, sorry. I let no, you no, down. No, no bullshit. No bullshit. I, I never shut my pants. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe as a tour. child. Yeah. I bought on tour, something happened. Nah. Nobody shit the stage or something. Nah. Never had that. No? No. Nah. Well, I guess <laughs> He's we're like, ending on my new son. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say this one. When was the last time you shit yourself? Uh, 
Not that long ago. I Not on a date, neither, was it? No. Okay. Oh, I farted during head once. That That's recently, <laughs> that was the first time ever. Was that the same chick you got knocked I, up? I was like, oh, geez, I got it. I got to go to die again, man. <laughs> I, love, I love women. Anyways, I know that one. I thought I shit myself. And in, 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 I'm a comedian. I joke about farts all the time. At that time, I was just like, no, no, no. no. You know, I thought oh, you I thought you shit yourself while you was getting top. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was bad, bro. I went like that. I was like, oh, thank God. Wow. It just happened. Yikes. It just happened. I will say this. I'm not I'm not like a pothead, but I seldomly smoke. But when I do, sometimes I you ever sometimes when I'm high, I feel like I'm pissing myself, and I'm not. It's like I'm always feeling like Yo, that's good weed. I'm pissing myself. <laughs> that's good weed. I always right do that. There, but nah, yeah. never, never, no, didn't piss myself, and I hadn't shit myself neither. So, <laughs> well, you guys got your shit together. I feel like huh? it, <laughs> yeah, no literally, yeah. literally. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll fucking just. Well, y'all want to just all shit out. No, 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 right no, no, no. Hey, wait till you leave. Wait till you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Is this the I, moment? <laughs> That's not the service gonna, I was willing really to offer. You really want to go viral? I'm for sure sitting this one out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shitting this one out. I'm shitting this one out. <laughs> That's a pun. That's it. But no, moment. man. Yeah. What? That was some information. Any more questions? So that was the question? If we should, that was your Yeah, that's question? the final that's question. That's the grand finale, <laughs> What a way to go out with oh, the bank. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm oh, having man. a kid. <laughs> you know what the fucking thing about these podcasts is that I, and I came in here with a nasty hangover. I still have it. But now I feel like I'm warming up now. Yeah. That's what we're about to end. Yeah. No. That's how it You've goes. been warm that's the cool. whole time, bro. I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. Like I can tell shirt. you're hungover. Nope. It's yeah. the glasses. I didn't wear glasses. Go get my sunglasses. I'm just kidding. It's Life so behind tents, man. Yeah. Life UV? behind the tents. What? Are, are they UV? Can you, you see? Uh, good? Uh, yeah. No, I see perfect. Do you yeah. wear them at shows at night? Oh, hell, hell yeah. How I'm committed. Guys I've, I've, done, I've done. I've done. I, you know, I. It has been tricky. Yeah, I've had situations where it's like, ooh, close call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like, oh shit. I'm new. I'm I'm more new to committing to the. The, the the glasses, but I but I've seen people graduate to that. You know, rocking shows, concerts with glasses on I in the dark do it, and maneuver. I cannot do it with glasses. You wear it all. You wear glasses yeah. all the time. No, I'm saying I can't rock a show with them off. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't see how people do shows with them. It's like I feel too. It's like I'm feel like I'm just too exposed for some yeah. reason. I like don't know sometimes why. when you, the the um you know you you could get more into in inward you know people are watching you without so so check this out sidebar but i'm saying like if you go watch like uh let's say you go to like vegas and you watch a you go to like um one of those shows right the blue man group or the whatever the fuck you never see anybody that's performing on there being affected by somebody in the audience they're putting on a performance from the beginning to end you know, in hip hop, sometimes you could, or at least me, I could look at a fan and see them a little too closely and depending, they might have a back to me or some shit like that, but they might just be going to order a drink. Maybe they with their friends and real cool, I'm performing for an hour. Maybe they want to step off to get some drinks real quick, but then that might make me feel like may, maybe I'm not doing a, a yeah. good show. So then I might go a little, it could affect me in words in the mind a little bit but sometimes when you put in the glass the glasses you could kind of like go you in on, yeah. a little bit and just give your performance and allow people to experience that without any outside forces being able to affect that and so that's my theory behind the glasses i have a uniform and if i don't wear it i get in my head it, my uniform is just a flannel and a t-shirt it's not but like if I don't have my Do, flannel, you wear different flannels, don't you? Yeah, of course. But yeah, but it has uh, to not be the flannel. same okay. way. Okay. But like just something. It's like my yeah. my cloak, my glasses, so to speak. Yeah. And it's just funny. I know it doesn't matter. I know it doesn't matter. But I don't wear it. I'm like, oh, I feel, feel funny. Yeah. It's so weird. It's a fucking flannel. That's how I feel. It doesn't matter. Weird. But it, it I'll, I'll I'll be in my head just enough. Have you attached a flannel to like if you have a good show? He's like, okay, if I. I know this is my lucky have flannel. flannel. Yeah, oh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Oh, that's my lucky flannel. Yeah. Oh, that's for tapings. That's a Carhartt. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I like Carhartt. Me too. All right, so let me ask you this. I know with me, the bigger the show, the easier. Yes. It's harder to rock a show with 30 motherfuckers than it is to rock in front of 3,000. 100% comedy is the same. Okay. 100%. It took the great Sam Tripoli to share that with me. 
because it was like my first club spot and it was sold out and I was so nervous. He's like, dog, this is easy. What you've been doing is near impossible. Like open mics to 12 comics and a homeless yeah. guy. And I'm not even fucking kidding. Yeah. You know, that's impossible. That's yeah. hard. He's like, you've been in the trenches. He's like, this is easy. Yeah. This is cake. And it helped me because it was true. And then you just say your shit and it's like, ah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's easy to make people laugh. Then when there's no people, it's comedy is brutal to small numbers but you just learn how to operate you know and that's true if you could rock 12 people then you're gonna rock 1200 people no problem you're it's not crazy you're not gonna be one of them guys is uh moving to texas oh no i'm excuse la excuse born me. and raised baby that's what's up yeah that's what's up yeah born in harbor city right down the way it's a nice little town shout out to his <laughs> i, I don't want to put your business out of it this is a fucking amazing area we are in uh, the, the vibe, vibe is out here. Fucking amazing. Oh yeah, beach, beaching yeah. it, man. Yeah, I'm beaching it. It's the best. Damn, that was a lot. I'm scared <laughs> now. Huh? Oh, it's hot in here. All right, all right. That's it, man. I love you guys. Thank you for doing my hey, shit. Hey, salute to you, bro. This shit was Thank cracking. You for having us, bro. Hey, Much man. Love. Hey, salute to you on tour too, man. Salute. Kill it. Keep winning, brother. Thank Keep you. Keep fucking winning. Thank you. No booze. It gets cold in Minnesota. You still make boo. Do you huh? plug anything? Oh yeah. Uh, me? Them? No. We'll, of course. Check their albums out. Check their music out. We'll yep. provide all links. It's in the bio. Click that shit. Um, he will need to get that video from you. I Belly you. flopping on concrete. Oof. And uh, yeah, check all their shit out. All links provided. Thank you for doing my shit. Thank we happy to be us, here, bro. brother. Yeah, yeah. Demrick and Jaron Benton. God bless. Much love. And, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, no, <laughs> that's what I'd be doing, but with, with my dad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that was shooting up the kid. <laughs> they shoot the club up. <laughs> 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 I don't have drugs anymore. It's hard out here, all right? Okay. Hey, R. Kelly was a school shooter. Damn! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Peace. That was a good ending, dude. Damn, it got hot when I said I had a kid.